the Health Watch tonight concerning news about children and autism. New estimates from the CDC now show that one in 59 children have autism spectrum disorder, an increase of 15% over a four-year period. Dr. Malika Marshall is here and do a lot of work in the autism community, and the number has always been one in 68. So what has changed here? Well, part of it is probably that we are capturing more children, that there are more girls being diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder, as well as minorities like African Americans and Hispanics. But experts admit there probably are some factors that we still don't know. Couples are having babies when they're older, and that's a risk factor. There are risk factors in pregnancy, all want. of which Tell we don't me. know about, but I probably want. some environmental exposures, medications. So we still have to try to figure that out. Another concern is that only about half of kids are being diagnosed with autism by age four. Mm. And we know that early intervention with behavioral treatments can really benefit kids. So we tr need to try to get those kids diagnosed even earlier. Yeah, that is a huge, huge thing there. All right, Malika. And a warning for seniors. Seniors. Researchers in the United Kingdom studied data on more than 300,000 people and they found a link between a certain class of drugs commonly used by older adults and an increased risk of dementia. What drugs are we talking about here? So we're talking about a class of drugs called anticholinergics. And it's not all anticholinergics, but it's ones that tend to be more potent. But they're taken by millions of older people in this country and worldwide for things like depression, bladder incontinence, Parkinson's disease. So they found that if people had taken these drugs for at least a year, that the, they had a 30% higher risk of developing dementia. Wow. But even if they use these medications up to 20 years before the diagnosis of dementia was made. So experts are cautioning people, saying that elderly people really should not be treated with these particularly powerful anticholinergics unless there are no alternatives available, and they have to be. I heard a lot of big words there. Is there <laughs> like a, a common name for one of these drugs? It's, it's a Brand bunch of name? them. It's okay. a bunch of them. So what I would do if, if I had a list of medications is ask my doctor, are you sure I should be on all of these? All right. Really important information here today. Dr. Melka, thank you so much. Lisa, over to you.